Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video we are going to do a latency test with the NMESI XR glasses which we use for FPV using the Snail Avatar VRX So in this test we are going to use the light as our uh, source So the light will um, come into this camera here in the drone and it will be transmitted to the uh, receiver, the VRX, which is the work snail and it will be processed inside here, get through this HDMI cable which runs into the glass and then finally display the, the uh, output on the bird bath optics so in order to uh, know the latency or how much it takes, how much time it takes uh, from the time the light enters the lens, the sensor and getting processed by the VRX into the glass we will use the GoPro uh, camera because this is the only camera I have that can uh, go uh, 240 frames uh, per second so and the and the best way of testing the latency is to get a high speed camera that can go like a thousand frames per second but uh, this is the only thing I have here 240 so basically we will just set this one to 240 frames per second and record the uh, display here uh, and together with the light so when I basically when I switch on the light and the camera is recording when I switch it on uh, it will pass to the sensor into the VRX and into the glass and it will display so the GoPro will record it and also because of the light is in the front of the GoPro it can also record that time I mean instantly when I switch it on so when I switch it on the GoPro can also detect that light under here under the glass but because of the latency it takes, it will not display uh, instantly on the uh, optics. So there is a little bit of delay. So that is how we measure it when we play it back uh, on the software. So we will play it frame by frame. And how long does it take from the start of uh, light coming through here until the light getting displayed into the glasses so we will play it frame by frame in DaVinci Resolve and we will do the math on how many frames does it take before it finally uh, gets displayed on the glass so based on my calculation 240 frames per second one frame is about 4 millisecond so if it takes like 5 frames uh, before the light gets in here so that means uh, 20 millisecond of latency but we will see it later guys when we do the uh, test so that is just uh, basically how I do uh, the latency test for using the light and the GoPro set up at 240 frames per second and here is uh, the same setup of latency testing but this time we are going to use the Worksnail uh, V1 goggles as our uh, receiver side for the video so we can compare the latency of the uh, NMESI XR glasses uh, compared to the Worksnail V1 goggles so it is just the same um, process and how we do the latency using the light and using the GoPro and we will compare the result afterwards
guys, so here is now the um, result, or not the result, this is the video that we have took earlier. I uh, imported it to DaVinci Resolve and I named it uh, XR for the NMSC and uh, the Voxnel V1 for the, the V1 for the Voxnel V1. So now let's start with the V1 first. And this is the footage of the V1, the testing footage of the V1 earlier. So just to let you know, guys, basically, because this is uh, 200, it is shoot at 240 frames per second. Every uh, push of this uh, right arrow here, that will uh, give you one frame of the footage. So let's try to press this now. I'll shoot it from here, and it should give you. One, no, we just play it first. I play and stop, and then yeah. So if we set it, if we keep pressing it, that will give us one frame. So this is the number of frames on this footage. So now 31, and if we move it to 240 something, let's try to scroll it. 227 and then once it reaches 239 it will receive to 0 and the second will go up to 38 yeah see so that is basically the number of frames on the uh, footage that we took earlier at 240 frames per second okay so now let's have a look on the uh, testing footage Let's scroll it to the time code to this one, two, three, five. That's where our test frame is, like that. And then we will um, scroll to the frame where the first light was detected by the GoPro. Uh, Eleven. So let's see where was it. Can't find it. Where is it now? No. Let's see where was it. There you go. So let's. Okay. So this is the first test uh, frame. So as you can see, at uh, 201 frame, there is still no light coming through the, the uh, GoPro. And when we move it forward one frame, there you go, that's the light, the first light came in at 202 uh, frame. And then if we keep on as you notice, there is still no light coming through the lens, I mean to the, to the goggles because of the latency. So we will now see how much latency it took for the light to get through the uh, goggle. So if we just keep on pressing, pressing until we start to see the light on the goggles. So that's the first light came in the goggle, yeah, 13, 213, so at, at 214, that's where the first uh, light, first pixel came to the uh, goggle. So yeah, the first one was 202, I think, I forget it already, the first light came, yeah, 202, and then the light on the goggles at 200. 14. So if you sub subtract 214 to 202, that should give you uh, 12 frames. So that means it took 12 frames for the light to go through the goggles from the first it was detected in the camera sensor. So to convert that into millisecond, as what I told you earlier, uh, one frame is equal to roughly 4 millisecond. And then if you multiply that 4 millisecond times 12 uh, frames that should give you 48 millisecond of latency so your uh, this is the v1 
So the V1 is giving us uh, 48 millisecond of latency from the first pixel. So that is just the first uh, pixel light that came to the glass. So if we move forward to complete the... So I think, yeah, that is the full light detected by the sensor. So that is 217, which is roughly 15 frames from the starting frame of 202. And that should be 15 multiplied by 4. That should be 60 milliseconds. So that is the full, uh, the full uh, frame at uh, 15 frames. All right, guys. So did you follow me uh, already? So that 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 means uh, the Woxnil V1 goggle has actually 60 millisecond of uh, latency based on this test. But I know this is not the accurate one. This is just a rough. Uh, calculation because I wanted to compare the latency of the uh, N Messi V20 uh, XR glasses. All right. So moving on to the next test frame at 2:42, that should give us roughly the same. It is the same as the. So this one, 42, yeah, okay, so the starting frame of the light is at uh, 28, okay, so 28, then we have to move the, core, the frame until we start to see the first light here, there you go, so the first light appears at 39, so 39 minus uh, the starting frame of this this light here is 28 so that should give you 11 frames which equals to 44 milliseconds if you multiply it to 4 uh, milliseconds per frame okay so that is the first light and if we move to the full uh, frame full light which is that one 44 so 44 minus 8 or I would say it's 43 it's 43 I think yeah yeah I think that's 43 so 43 minus 28 that should give you 15 so just the same as the previous one so 15 millisecond no no 15 frames so times 4 so that should give you the same uh, latency 60 millisecond all right so also I did it on the other last test and the third one at 255 let's scroll it more 255 there you go so here 255 the first light came in at 85 and then let's move the frame so the first light on the goggles is 96 so that's still the same 11 frames which is 44 same as the previous one and then the full light is at 100 minus 85 so that's still the same 15 frames which is 60 milliseconds all right so that is for the box nail v1 goggles the latency i can conclude that based on this test it's uh, 60 millisecond of latency glass to glass latency all right so we will move to the uh, XR, the NBC XR, so we can compare if it has more latency or uh, it has the same latency. Alright guys, so this is now the video, the test video for the XR, the NBC V20 goggles. Alright, so let's start from the timecode. 226213 and let's search for the first light of the test. So the first light came in at 216, right? So that's 216. Then we need to find the frame where the first light came in the goggle. So let's keep pressing. There you go. So that's the first light in the goggle. 
so you can see that so that is 227 all right so 227 minus what's the previous one I forget 216 so that gives you 11 frame which is the same as the previous as you notice the previous the Google Voxnel Google V1 it has 11 frames also on the first light which is the same as this one and the full light for the end messy which is that one 231 minus 16 216 that is 15 frames exactly so I'm surprised so this is actually giving you the same latency as the Voxnail FPV goggle V1 so as opposed to most of the people saying that the latency of this goggle is really really crazy but I can prove it now that uh, this XR glasses has actually the same latency as the regular FPV goggle of the Voxnail okay so let's move on to the next uh, test Let's scroll it to the next time code. So around two, three, four. No. Yeah. So around two, three, four. This one. So let's just scroll it back to find the first light. Yes. So where is it? There you go. So first light came in at one, two, three. Now one, two, three. Remember that one, two, three. It's easy to remember. And then the first light on the goggle appears at 133. Okay, so here is the surprising result because previously the goggle V1 always it's constantly uh, receiving the first light in the goggle at 11 frames, but this XR goggle is actually receiving the first frame or the first light 10 seconds only. Yeah, so two, three, one, two, three, and then one, three, three. There you go. So first light appears at one, three, three. So that is only forty milliseconds. Okay. So let's uh, push the frame more to show the whole light. There you go. So one, three, eight. So that is still the same. Uh, 15, 138 minus 1, 2, 3 is 15 frames, which is 60 milliseconds, right? So it's very uh, uh, constant, guys. It's showing constant latency along, I mean, across all the test uh, uh, lights. So moving on, on to the last, uh, I mean, the third test sequence. At 242. Oh, not that one. So this one. There you go. So let's find that, right? So the first light, the light was detected at 211. So remember, 211. And then let's move the frame forward until it appears in the goggles there you go the first light in the goggle appears at 2 2 1 so it's another 10 frames guys so it's giving us constant 10 frames on the first uh, appearance of the light in the goggles which means it's actually less latency than the wax nail v1 goggles so Let's move forward until we can see the whole light on the goggles, on the glass, I mean. So 226, 226 minus 211 is 15 frames. So it is exactly giving us 15 frames always on the full uh, light, uh, which means 60, uh, 60 milliseconds of, of latency. So, I don't know guys if this is really 60 but the purpose of my test on this one is actually to compare the uh, N Messi V20 XR glasses to the regular 
Wolf Snail Avatar Goggles V1. So here you go guys, the answer to your question about the latency of these uh, XR glass from N Messi and comparing to the original or the regular Wolf Snail FPV goggles. So I can conclude that they are having the same latency and this one even gets uh, one frame less than the Wolf Snail, so which is uh, equivalent to 40 millisecond of latency on the first light appearance to the goggles compared to this one which uh, receives the first light in the goggle at around 11 frames which is 44 milliseconds so yeah as opposed to most of the people say that um, these XR glasses are having a very crazy latency if you are going to use it for FPV and now I can answer it that this too has actually the same latency all right so the only disadvantage of this is because you need to have more gears to set up when you're going flying but this one you already have the battery the everything the VRX like this is just like uh, put it on your uh, head and you can go flying this one you need to set up your VRX, your tripod, your ground station before you can start flying. But the good thing about this one is for those uh, FPV pilots like for fixed wings, for long range flyers that need ground station. So this is the best guys because this is very light and it's very cool to see this kind of FPV uh, heat gear, right? So guys, thank you very much for your time watching this video. If you like this kind of video, uh, please do like and hit that subscribe button uh, so you will not miss any of my video regarding this uh, goggle in the future because I will be uh, making more videos testing this with my uh, drones, with my fixed wings and maybe also I can use this for some other stuff like uh, uh, regular drones, game consoles, uh, simulators and all that stuff right so yeah um, thank you very much for watching guys until the next video and have a good day